What is up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a Blender tutorial but with, the, with a voice tutorial. Uh, you're going to, or GFX I should say. All you need is Blender and then you're going to need um, um, Roblox Studio which you all should have when you downloaded it. <coughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to open up Roblox Studio and if, you, and if you're going to use HR like someone else's cat cat. Roblox character, make sure make sure they are in R6. They are in R15, which has like the like bent body lens, or if they have a gear, but and you don't know if they're in R15 or not, just um, yeah, you'll be able to tell in Studio that it'll have like this part right here on this done, then the part down there, and then like three different parts. Anyways, if you're not, then you don't need to get an ID. So you're gonna play. You're then you're gonna pause. And by the way, I changed my Roblox name. My name will be in the the description below. You're gonna ungroup it, group it, and then copy. It. So Control U, Control C, Control G, and Control C, or you can right click on group, group, and then copy. But once you're done with that, you're gonna right click or Control V. Paste in. You're gonna unlock everything, and then you're gonna unlock your base plate. Well, this is how at least I do it. You're gonna change your name, and if you and when you're um in studio, everything's gonna pop up with these green dots all over the place. Do not need. Don't worry. You you can easily remove them by just clicking the show details button. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click it and then you're actually gonna right click it here. Export selection. And you're gonna save it somewhere. You're gonna remember. I'm going to save it just here. Let's call it YouTube. And you're gonna you're gonna close Roblox Studio. Now you're gonna open Blender. The link to Blender is in the description below. Now what you're gonna do is basically the main, main control to shift, shift F is to move around. Scroll up, just scroll and wheel up is to go faster. Scroll wheel down to go slower. And then control and click to make the Circles, which that'll be really easy. So what you're going to do? File, import with run OBJ, and you're going to find the exact thing. There's going to be you and MTL and an OBJ. Insert the OBJ. Now you're going to go over to it. Right here, there's a button. Associated. Change it to material. And then there are going to be these three buttons. You're going to click the environmental lighting and indirect lighting. Now you have your um G, your GFX in now. So now what you're going to do is you're going to right click. You're going to hit A so everything unselects. You're going to right click a limb and then set origin to 3D cursor. And then you're going to come down here and move it away from the body. So then you're going to come here and click edit. Object mode, change that to edit, subdivide, remove doubles, and you're going to tap A. Now you're going to control and select every single piece, the parts that you're going to bend. And then what you're going to do. I'm gonna come up since I messed up. Wait, Control Z, right? Yeah. Alright, Control Z is to undo. So, yeah. Now you're gonna, when once you're done selecting everything, you're gonna take the um rotate tool down here. Gonna go to this red line and then just gonna turn it like this. And what I like doing, just so it looks. Actually, no, I can do it. Then you're gonna hit A. Because you know this part's gonna only be the part that's done. 
you're going to click A, and then A again, and then slide it back into place, object mode, and do that to any other body parts that you're going to do. I'm going to pause the video, I'll come back as soon as I'm done. Alright guys, I'm back. So after you're done building all your body parts and you think it's good, on your keyboard, there's going to be the top row numbers, and then there's going to be the dashes plus equal and backspace. And then there's going to be the arrow keys. On the very right of the arrow key, there's the zero button. Tap that, and then this will pop up. Now, shift F all the way to your GFX. And we're going to make this a background to something. And you click this camera. Shading. Change sky to transparent. And then adjust your camera. And then as soon as you're good to the position, click render. And then the background checker, that's the good part. File. Import. With our file, or no. View. <laughs> image, I'm sorry, it's I'm tired. Save as image. Make sure you save it to your desktop and save it to save it as something like save as image. Now you're going to open up any editor that you use. I use PicMonkey because it's the most easiest, and I would know my way around it. I'm going to open this. And I'm going to look up a background. I want to pause the video and I'm going to come back as soon as I have a nice background. Alright, when I'm done, I'm back. Ah. Alright, I'm back, so I'm going to save them in jazz. And save it somewhere where you're gonna realize it, where you're gonna remember, and you're gonna open up. You go back to your editor. If you're using PicMonkey Edit Computer, which PicMonkey is really useful, you're gonna open it up, and then as soon as you open it up, it'll load in on the left side right here. There will be a butterfly. Click the butterfly. Add your own, my computer, and then add the same one that you did. You just need in. There we go. Oh, flag. And then as soon as you're done, if you're on Pick Monkey, hit export and you know you can edit it any way you want. Hit export. Change to PNG. And name is something you'd like to play. So let's see. And you're gonna save it. And then yeah, you're done. So this is how you make a GFX if you want me to find any way how to any more how to like any more easy things tell me in the comments below I am still looking on more things that I will help that will like basically more things that will work on like more GFX more tutorials in the future if you have any, tell me in the comments below. I am muscle for myself. And yeah, thank you for watching. Like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.